Hi guys, welcome back to TRS 2K16 Forever. I'm your girl, Rena. Um, actually, Trey is behind the camera, which you guys can't see. But today we are going to discuss my hauls that I have decided to work on today, which is my face and sheet mask hauls. Some I got from Hush, some I got from Walmart, Target, but we're gonna discuss these and why I decided to buy these and read into them before I actually go in, go into the reviews um, in other videos, but not today. So the first one I have is the Coconut and Hibiscus Radiance Mud Mask. And this is for dull skin. Um, as I've said in my previous videos, I do have a little bit of dull skin in my T-zone area, but it's not so much. Um, I, I've seen a lot of good things about this one. I've seen a lot of bad things too. So I'm just going to give my review when it's time for me to do my next mask, which will be on a Sunday. I bought this from Walmart. It was like $1.50 if I'm not mistaken. Shea Moisture. I also have other Shea Moisture products, which I'll be doing in another video. So stay tuned for that. I also bought this pomegranate sheet mask only has one sheet it is bright is a brighten and enhancer got this from hush this one was sent to me for free um so basically this one is packed with antioxidants pomegranate extract renews and rejuvenates for radiant fresh and balanced skin evens and smooths complexion now my skin has different dark spots what's common for a lot of people um, but for me typically um, I have a lot of dark spots I think this would work out pretty good so that's that one. Then I have my Yes to Carrots Vitamin Enriched Kale Mud Mask. So I bought this one from, I think this one was from Target. I think it was like $2 if I'm not mistaken. It's 100% vegan. I'm looking forward to that. I have done other Yes to Face Masks. I will link those down in the description below. On to the next one. This one is the Detoxifying Alba Botanica Hawaiian Detox Sheet Mask. I got this one from Walmart as well, like $1.50. Um, it's for hypoallergenic, it's 100% vegetarian. This one is just a, mostly a detox sheet mask. I'll be looking forward to using that one. Now these two are a gold face mask. These are sheets. I got these from Hush. So basically I bought these two and then because I was new, I got the pomegranate one for free. These are to enhance your beauty routine with a gold infused Korean face mask. When used regularly, this mask hydrates and helps restore delicate face masks infused with gold and help to help increase elasticity, making skin appear more firm. So these two guys, I got these from Hush. They were a dollar. Now, a lot of these facial masks nowadays, they do come from Korea, which is pretty cool to me, but I'm kind of reluctant to use just anything on my face, especially if it's really, really foreign because I'm not so sure. But I've seen a lot of good reviews on Hush about these. Really willing to try these. Next one is the Yes to Cucumbers, which is smoothing to mud mask. I think the little packets are like mud mask like this, and then the bigger packets are actual sheet mask. I feel like mud mask really penetrates my skin more, but this one's for sensitive skin, which I do have sensitive skin. This one has fresh green clay to calm and smooth your sensitive skin. It's basically cucumbers. And I love the smell of cucumbers, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I haven't seen a lot of people do reviews on this one, but I got this one from Walmart as well. It was like $1.50. Gonna be doing reviews on these soon. Just stay tuned for them, like I said before. And then lastly, I have my Yes to Grapefruit Paper Mask. This one is a vitamin C glow boosting. Basically, this is to help brighten up your skin. It also refines your pores so that your selfie is ready in a snap. It's kind of cliche, but it's a face mask, so why not? So bottom line is these are my ultimate, these are my ultimate favorite masks thus far. I will be tr putting these in a different video individually just to give you an actual clear review on how I apply it, what happens, and some people say certain masks burns their face, and I say everybody's not the same. So if it burns your face and you know maybe your skin is just too sensitive for the extracts that's in there. But for me, I try to stick it out even if it tingles a little bit just to see the final result. So I'm gonna link my last video if you guys have not checked it out. It was the Queen Nigel Medicine review and the video follow-up before that one was the first impression Shea Moisture's 100% Virgin Coconut Face Mask, Mud Mask. 
that one was featuring Trey. Um, I just hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. We'll comment down below to tell me what kind of mask you guys want me to try. And I will definitely, definitely let you guys know what I feel um, once I do the reviews. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below or send me a message. Email us. Subscribe to our channel. Like us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. We'll put our personal stuff down at the bottom. And definitely, definitely like this video, share, tell a friend about us, and just keep supporting. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video, which is like a kind of follow-up series of my other review products that I have just gotten brand new of 2018. So thanks for watching. I'm Rena from TRS 2K16 signing out. See ya.